We're here with the junior minister, Mr. Silvio Skimbri, um, of the Ministry of Financial Innovation um, at the Office of the Prime Minister. Can you let us know what is your interest at being at the summit here today? Well, this office was responsible for spearheading the Blockchain Island Initiative, all the strategy of Malta which has embarked upon last year. Basically, we spearheaded all these uh, new three pieces of legislation which basically uh, gave the moniker uh, of the Blockchain Island to Malta, whereby now we have given trust and also security for operators but also people who um, make services, make use of services on blockchain. Now we have uh, basically came in a situation where we have approved already our VFA agents and our system auditors and now we look forward for the first licensing to be issued later on this year. I know you spoke about um, November being a very um, important month for Malta with regards to the ro blockchain regulatory framework. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Well, on the 1st of November, the three pieces of legislation that we have enacted in Parliament came into effect. So on that day, all the operators operating in and from Malta had to notify the MFSA of their operations and starting the process to apply for a license. They had a grace period of one year whereby they could operate from Malta and then from Malta um, while they applying for a license. Now new operations need to operate with a license. So uh, basically on that day, it was an important day also 1st of November because we have launched Malta.ai, a task force which has the aim to basically emulate what we have done in blockchain but in artificial intelligence and design a holistic strategy for Malta that will put Malta as one of the top 10 nations in the world with a holistic strategy for artificial intelligence. And Malta is quite up and coming when it comes to the AI industry but can you give your thoughts on how maybe the uh, multi-regulatory environment can be more attractive especially for startup companies or early stage companies in AI? Well I think the first we have to start by defining AI. I think up until today we have not a clear definition of where AI starts and where AI ends. And I think the most pertinent questions that will arise um, on AI are more of an ethical nature. So that is why on our first piece of legislation when we have established the Malta Digital Innovation Authority, we have also had the AI idea in mind. And in fact even in the bill, if you look at the bill, there is the establishment of the Ethics Committee within the Malta Digital Innovation Authority. So until now, the Malta Digital Innovation Authority is the responsible authority in the technological aspect for DLT, but the remit of this authority will be broadened to capture also AI. Basically, the idea is not to only attract big companies, but also startups with new initiatives that will soon launch also as part of the strategy in terms of fiscal incentives, in terms of visa requirement, in terms of uh, processing also um, uh, new initiatives in the educational aspect with um, um, with agreements with other institu education institutions abroad to attract more talent to Malta. If you do not have talent, um, this sector will not thrive. And lastly, what do you think of the summit so far? I think it's great. There is a very positive vibe. Um, this is this comes after only six months from the first edition. We're seeing about they told me more than five thousand people coming here to back to Malta. So basically, yes, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that more investors are putting their name behind Malta, are, are trusting what the government is doing here, and uh, everybody's embracing and adapting change. Above all, the Maltese people that uh, historically we've been always adaptable to, adaptable to change and adopt change, and um, this technological revolution is part of our DNA. Thank you very much for your time.